All right. So what is leaky gut out of the gate? So you have this protein called a zonulin. It's a protein. And essentially, put your fingers together like this. If you're watching me on video, I'm putting my fingers together like in a prayer pose, like you're saying a prayer. Essentially, this is your tight junctions. This is your gut lining. All right. Think of this as what happens in your small intestine. This is what prevents the outside and the inside of your gut, right? So technically food's actually outside of you, even though it's in your gut. And then it gets absorbed in to your, you know, through the microvilli and it goes into your bloodstream. So it goes outside in. And so this is the barrier. And so this is your, your gut lining right here. And then essentially zonulin is a protein and that protein will essentially unzip that gut lining like so. I'll show you guys a couple pictures so you can kind of get a visual here. I know it's a little bit confusing. So here's a picture of zonulin right here. And this is zonulin essentially will impair or increase the permeability of the gut lining. All right. So when you increase, when you increase zonulin, you're going to increase gut permeability. Um, so for instance, there's studies on probiotics actually reducing um, zonulin and helping to heal gut permeability. We'll go into some of that here today as well. I'm really excited. So if you look at this right here, there's lots of different causes to gut permeability. So here's your gut right here, right? Here's the gut lining right here. So you can see these little proteins. This would be like your zonulin protein, right? These are the tight junctions that hold these gut cells together. And when we decrease, right, when we cause stress and we start to have zonulin go out of balance, this type of this tight, junk, tight junction right here can unzip. And then you start to get all of these bacteria, viruses, gluten, different toxins, different chemicals start to get into that bloodstream where normally there wouldn't be that exposure. It would technically be outside of the body, right? And so that's an important thing to look at. So we have these tight junctions here. This is your fingers together. And we have that zonulin protein. And zonulin is going to cause that gut permeability to increase. And we're going to go through the factors today and what actually drives that. It's really, really important. So essentially zonulin makes the holes bigger. So when we have that increase in zonulin, increase in zonulin is going to, guess what? It's going to increase the gut permeability. Let's look at it a different way here. This is a really good one here. So for instance, you can see in this particle here, you're going to see gluten, for instance. Gluten is one powerful stimulator to increase zonulin. Zonulin is going to increase with gluten exposure. And so you can see here the tight junctions right here. This is here. My tight junctions start to slip apart, and that's going to allow a more permeable gut lining. This is very important. And as the gluten slips in, you can see all the different immunological reactions that are happening. You can see transglutaminase. You can see T cells. You can see helper cells. You can see antigen-presenting cells. All this down below is just showing that the immune system is going wild and is attacking different tissues of the body. 